Welcome everyone to the Call of Duty World War 2 multiplayer reveal trailer. We're about to see the game for the very first time in action and tomorrow here on the channel I'm going to have full multiplayer gameplay for you guys. So the first in the world so make sure you're subscribing for that and tune in tomorrow. However, right here, right now, the multiplayer reveal trailer. Smash the thumbs up button if you're excited. It looks absolutely insane. Point out anything you see down below that you like or don't like. And without further ado, this is it. Pre-order now and get access to the private beta. Guys, oh my gosh, what a crazy multiplayer trailer. And actually, when I was watching this, I was like, is this a film or is this a cinematic campaign experience? I've never seen a multiplayer trailer for Call of Duty look as good as this and also reveal so much as well. There's so many things to point out here. We're going to go through it. And if you watched all the way to the end of the trailer and picked up on the fact that there's an announcement for when the private beta will be happening as well. Obviously, we knew the beta was going to be happening. We didn't know when it was going to be happening. It it looks absolutely crazy. Just to clear up, I said at the beginning of this video I'm going to have world exclusive multiplayer gameplay tomorrow. I am actually out in E3 here in LA to play and record Call of Duty World War II multiplayer first in the world, which is absolutely crazy. Obviously within this video here, there was no uh, visual HUD on screen. It was all very much a cinematic experience, seeing a lot of the settings and situations. A few of the weapons that we're using with the first one being the M1 Garand looking absolutely amazing and obviously looking stunning. It looks almost on the verge of being a tad cartoony uh, and don't take that the wrong way, don't make me, don't make me uh, think like that it looks really bad or, or doesn't look as fine and, and as detailed as other games are looking but it does have that almost cartoony rounded aspect to it. I think it looks absolutely amazing and I cannot wait to get hands on with it and share even more gameplay with you guys. Now notice on the side of that soldier there he had a patch on his arm. We saw him bayonet a character and now bring a flamethrower as well into my multiplayer. I believe this is one of the multi subclasses which have been confirmed and I talked about a few days ago called the divisions. So there's no longer creator class. You play within one of five divisions and you can play whichever one you want and jump between them but each division is unique in multiplayer because it has different weaponry 
different abilities and I believe that division comes with a flamethrower ability and weapon to unlock at some point as well. Next up here we have what looks to be the Sten SMG being used and uh, just another look at another one of the brand new weapons. We can see tanks in there as well, no confirmation as to exactly how they're going to work. There's a bit of controversy about whether or not tanks should be in multiplayer or not. A little bit of a split decision there. I think maybe if the map's big enough you can, but notice that we actually puts an attachment on the end of his weapon in battle and just bear in mind this is all multiplayer like i i seriously can't believe it the maps look absolutely amazing and there's so many places to hide so many places to explore and obviously the maps are typical call of duty star where everything is happening very much in your face you're not spending hours running around the map trying to find someone um it is very very gory very very bloody and very realistic when it comes to world war ii uh, warfare we can see another brand new map here uh, somewhere in Germany as we parachute into the map which is brand new for Call of Duty multiplayer maybe it's the way you start off the map as we see one of the pump action shotguns being used here as well the grenade th throw seemed very very short I'm not sure if that's something they've adjusted for multiplayer so you can't throw um, grenades a million miles across the map look like the STG may have been dropped by the um, enemy there as well and what looks to be maybe a bazooka setup with the LMG class with the M LMG division I should should say as a player, an ally ran in front of him there, and a huge, huge explosion, which makes me think it's some sort of um, uh, actual different ammunition being used there to uh, to gain that kind of effect. So, oh my gosh, so many different variants. And as I said, tomorrow I'm getting hands on with all of this. I can really break down all the divisions, how all of these weapons are going to be working, which weapons will be within which divisions, and it will all be far, far clearer for you guys. And obviously, I'm really interested to see the HUD. I, I like to know what the HUD looks like and how that in game experience will carry across to a game. But it's clearly so visually um, uh, like integral and you feel like you're just so sucked sucked into it when you don't have the HUD on screen. Um, for a video like this, it feels even more realistic, but you need to know how many bullets you've got. You need to have that mini map and we will see that for the first time tomorrow for any of you guys that are wondering. As we see the enemies go through the map here, we do have a plane in the air. And remember, this is a multiplayer trailer. We've got to keep on reminding ourselves that we are battling on a battleship with... Spitfighters and planes going over the uh, the battleship here with infantry soldiers on the ground. I assume we can actually fly in in those planes, believe it or not. All of this will be explained a little bit more tomorrow, as I keep on saying. And a very brutal shovel to the back there. That guy is definitely a goner. Our first ever look at a sniper. Looks potentially be the uh, Springfield sniper. And notice how as he zoomed in, the um, black around his scope gradually got stronger. Maybe you're going to have to wait for that to be fully blacked out before your sniper is, um, uh, the breath has been fully held of the player. And obviously your, your sniper's going to be going dead straight. We had bomb being dropped onto the, um, the enemy camp there. Uh, like, I think, honestly, the, the vehicles in this game are one of the biggest shockers. I did do a whole video talking about both planes and tanks and whether or not you'd like them within multiplayer and what you thought of it. And we've had very little first-person plane action. If that's playable, potentially I can play it tomorrow. I know, I think TDM, Domination, and War are the three game modes I get to play. And obviously, there'll be limited map usage as well. We can see tank. I assume, I mean, tanks, tanks and planes have to be in it. Like, there's no reason to think not. We are on top of a tank here with an LMG firing down on the enemies. It looks absolutely crazy. And this is probably the most in depth, the most crazy. And again, another LMG here. Uh, and like, absolutely insane, insane, insane multiplayer experience we've ever seen for a Call of Duty game. We see um, a bomb grenade being actually cocked there and getting ready. It almost looks like search and destroy, actually, as a bomb is being planted. The M1 Garand again, a tank again, explosions going off everywhere. The intensity is building up as we see another bayonet at the end of the gun there. Maybe the M1911 pistol as well being cocked and being ready to shot, shoot at as well. And then Call of Duty World War II, finally, with the reveal for the date for the private beta. If you want to get involved in the beta, you need to pre-order the, uh, the game. 
Once you pre-order, you get confirmation of your access to the beta with the game coming out on November the 3rd this year, three days before my birthday last year. I should know, two years ago, it was November the 6th, when Black Ops 3 came out, there was my birthday. So the private beta will begin on the 25th of August on PlayStation 4 first, and beta to follow on the other platforms. No news as to exactly when everything else will be happening, but for the moment, we have confirmation on the 25th of August 2017, the beta will be kicking off. So guys, leave all of your thoughts down below. Smash that thumbs up button if you like what you're seeing. And obviously, tomorrow is a day you need, need, need to be tuning into this channel because gameplay will be everywhere, breakdowns will be everywhere, and so much details of this game will be here for you guys. So thank you so much for checking out the world reveal for the multiplayer trailer for Call of Duty World War II. I am so excited. I'm sure you guys are too. I'll see you tomorrow with the world's first gameplay. Thanks so much for watching.